Conservative German lawmaker Karl Georg Wellmann has spoken out about his experience last weekend of being denied entry into Russia. The head of the German Ukraine parliamentary group believes the incident is a sign of worsening east west tensions over the conflict in Ukraine. But the Russians' refusal to let Wellman cross into their territory came a little over a week after Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov was in Brussels in what many commentators said was a sign of relations between Moscow and the West being on the up after they plunged to historic lows following the Kremlin's annexation of Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula last year and amid its ongoing military intervention in East Ukraine. Safely back in Berlin, Wellman describes his treatment at the Russian border. He says, I arrived at 9.30 in the evening and was detained in passport control. I was kept waiting for two and a half hours, and after two and a half hours, I was told that I could not enter the country until 2019 and had to take the next flight home, which was the next morning at 7. No explanation. They didn't say anything about it, and I would not have been able to understand anyway because they only spoke Russian. The explanation, that is, the expulsion order was in English, but no verbal explanation with the border guards was possible. Ever since the conflict in Ukraine erupted last year, Russia and the West have brought in a series of retaliatory economic and political measures. The EU and the US have blacklisted close associates of Russian President Putin and imposed a series of sanctions on key sectors of the Russian economy. Moscow, in turn, has banned the import of a wide range of Western goods, including fresh fruit and vegetables like the ones grown here in Poland. Many believe the Kremlin has also put together its own blacklist of European politicians who are barred from entering the country. It's all part of a wider geopolitical confrontation, which, as far as Wellman is concerned, goes part and parcel with Russia's refusal to allow him across its borders. He says, I had meetings planned with the chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee of the Federation Council, with some of Putin's advisers, with experts on Germany, all official appointments, no opposition, no demonstration. Evidently, I was stopped by certain powers. I feel very supported, but I have to emphasize this was not directed at me personally. They refused me entry as a member of the government coalition and ultimately the German government in general. The parliament as a whole is challenged, so this is a very grave course of events. Earlier this year, Wellman called Russia a warmonger for supporting insurgent forces in East Ukraine. The Kremlin has consistently denied such charges throughout the conflict. But that comes in spite of a significant amount of evidence to the contrary, including the capture of two Russian paratroopers in East Ukraine last week, one of whom admitted to international monitoring group, the OSCE, that he is a member of the Russian Special Forces.